everyone. Welcome to my house. My name is Jackie and I am a community health broker with uh, Niagara Region Public Health. So today I am going to, oh you see Chevy walking by here. Um, I have two dogs so if you hear barking that's them. Um, today we're going to be making uh, a nice um, winter craft and uh, it's this lovely little penguin. Super cute. And I was able to make him for uh, about $15 from everything I found at the dollar store. Now, a lot of this stuff you could probably find also around your home. So um, no need to worry there. But I will let you know what you need. All right, we're gonna put him aside. So the first thing you're going to need is a black sock. All right, depending on and that's Lloyd as you see go by. <laughs> um, as you, uh, I got a nice fuzzy one, but it can be a black sports sock, whatever works for you, okay? The bigger the sock, the bigger probably your, your penguin will be. Uh, you're also going to need a pair of scissors. You are going to need a glue gun, or if you have some kind of glue, um, it just may take a little bit longer if it's not the glue gun. The glue gun just dries really quickly, okay? Uh, you are going to need um, some felt. Now, I found this pack at the dollar store for a couple of dollars, and it had the colors I needed in it. So it, I needed a piece of white and a piece of orange, okay? The orange piece you're going to need is about this big. So put those up there. You're going to need a couple of elastics, elastic bands or rubber bands, okay. two buttons, they're pretty small, sorry, there you go. Um, doesn't matter, as you can see on my first guy here, his eyes are different uh, sizes. So whatever you want, I think it just makes him a little bit quirky or different colors. Now, I found a bag of buttons at the dollar store, uh, all different sizes, shapes, colors. So you are welcome to, oh, here it is right here. All right, you could also use that. You're going to need a sock for his hat. Now, I just grabbed a child sock, but you could use an adult sock as well. Okay, you're going to need something for his scarf. Now, I found this fun, um, pom-pom material at, again, at the dollar store, but you could use a piece of felt if you wanted. You could cut up um, if you have old sheets or whatever. It's just gonna tie around his neck for his little scarf, all right? And it hides some of the elastic. The other thing that you're going to need is rice, all right? Because this is what kind of keeps him um, sitting up. Now, if you don't have rice, you can always probably use a couple of stones in the bottom of your sock and then fill it with cut up um, towel or t-shirt, like something old that you don't use anymore, sheets, that type of thing. Um, but it, it may be a little bit harder to form that ball. The rice is good. This rice I found again at the dollar store, it was $2.50. And I used probably, I would say two thirds of the bag. So um, if you want to make more than one, you may want to grab a couple of bags of rice, okay? And I think that's everything. Oh, the last thing is I made this little cone out of paper. Um, it just helps the rice go into the sock a little bit easier. If you have a funnel, you're welcome to use that as well. I just found sometimes the funnel would get caught up with the rice depending on how big the bottom of the funnel is. So um, this is something you may want to prepare in advance. Okay, so I'm just going to pause for a minute and that way I can readjust my camera so when it comes back on it'll be pointing down a little bit better so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Okay, all right. All right, now there was a bit of a jump there. <laughs> so I apologize for that double chin that you get to see but um, I think you'll see better this way um, as opposed to the camera facing up. Now this part is the part that could be kind of messy, okay? So just be careful. You might want to do this over a sink, um, especially if you know you have difficulty because this is a pretty heavy bag of rice. 
But all I did was I took the sock and I took the end um, that opens up and I just kind of, I just wrapped it around my fingers just to hold on to it easier. Just kind of like that. And then I'm going to put my little cone that I made or your funnel or whatever else. I'm going to stick it in that sock and that's going to help the rice go into the sock. All right, here we go. You might have to stop every once in a while. Just to see, look at that. I already spilled some on my table. Oh, spilling it all over my table. That's okay. My one dog happens to like rice and he'll probably try to eat some of the plain rice. <laughs> all right, let's see if I can do this again. And it actually seems to be pretty good at going into the sock. All right, so I just take a little bit of time, just so I'm not overwhelmed. You see, it's creating that ball there. Now this, it all depends on how big, and uh, I'm gonna put this down, how big and lumpy you want your penguin to be, because the rice, you can see it kind of packs it down. All right, form that bottom ball. And I said, this may be a two person job too. <laughs> but sometimes you do, as you can see from my mess, it can be a little awkward. So I just keep pushing it down and packing it in there to create a nice solid base. Ooh, I don't want that coming out. Or I'll have another mess all over the table. Okay. Put that guy in there. Make sure it's packed down nice and tight. You can feel it. Get them in there. Look at that big body. I'm gonna make a nice big fat penguin. Let's have a nice big fish dinner. And it's all full and set for the winter. And I just keep putting this in here, filling it up. Okay, let's try that for a minute. So I'm gonna hold the top of it. So none of the rice comes out, and I'm just going to make sure that it's good and packed here. So I might put a little bit more in, all right, because what we're going to do is we're going to form his head um, with the elastic and then put an elastic also on top, okay? But I think I can add a little bit more. That's why I said you might want to get a couple bags of rice if you're going to make more than one. Because like this one, I've gone through, you know, probably about two thirds of it. I think that's where we'll stop. Make sure it all gets in there safely. Before I take this guy out, create a real mess. Okay, we'll put him aside. So here is all my rice and you can see he's, it's all in there. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put rice, or sorry, an elastic on the top. Okay, that way it will hold all the rice in. And it doesn't matter the size, it just depends on how many times it'll go around. So you're going to do, do a few here. Make sure it's good and tight. All right, I don't think anything's coming out of that. Okay, so you got kind of this lumpy lump. Okay, so now we're going to actually form his head. So you want to go about two thirds up his body and just kind of push in a little bit. See how I just kind of push in with my fingers to make this kind of body. And when I have a bit of an idea, I can start with my elastic. I'll have, that's where it's kind of going to be going in. And you don't have to do these, this elastic super tight because it will hold it in anyways. There we go. I think that's pretty good. 
Okay. It's got a nice thick body. And then there's his head. There we go. Okay. So we've got that done. Okay, I'm going to pause for a minute because I'm going to swipe off my area here of rice and get it out of the way. And I will be back. Okay, so we're back. I cleaned up. Oh, I missed a rice. <laughs> Good thing I have my garbage right here. <laughs> um, so we're back, and uh, we have our little uh, bang, penguin body here. Um, the one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little bit off the top because it's it's secured now, but I'm going to cut the top uh, a little off the top so that when I put the hat on, it's not too full. You can do that, or you can leave it in whatever you'd like to do. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, put on the white parts. Now, um, I used one of these. Okay. There's two ways you can do it. You can either cut a full oval out of this and, and put it on um, his body, glue it on. The only thing I found is that when you go to try to do it in the crease where his neck is, it can get kind of wrinkled and, and um, I mean, it is covered with the uh, scarf when you put it on, but um, that's up to you. The other thing you can do is I just cut two pieces, one for his belly and one for his face. Okay, the face one I think is too big, but that's okay, I can fix that. All right, so the one thing we are going to do is we are going to, I'm going to use the glue gun. Um, if you're young and you're using a glue gun, just please either be very careful or make sure that your mom or dad helps you with it, okay? Because you can get burned and it's very hot. So um, how I do this, and I'm going to attempt to do it uh, facing the camera. We'll try. Um, is I'm going to pull my little glue gun in here. If you have a glue gun and you use one, I have to say I got this cute little mat from the dollar store um, for the glue gun specifically, and I'm finding it very helpful. All right. Um, so I'm just going to, the best way to do it is just to glue around the outside of it. Um, I do a little um, flat part on the bottom um, just so that it sits like that, okay? And then I put maybe a little bit in the middle. So we will try this. The glue gun has been on for a while, so it should be good to go, hopefully. And again, you can get glue guns at the dollar store. Uh, they're a little bit more expensive. at. Um, Closer to four dollars, but it's still pretty good price. Uh, some come with their glue, some do not. So I just, but again, please be very careful because it's very hot stuff. All right, so we're gonna oh, we're gonna put that on right there. Fold that in for his belly. Just like that. Okay. And I can always, there's like little pockets here and here. I can always go in. I got these great long glue sticks too from the dollar store, which are great. So I might go in, put a little bit extra glue there to kind of glue that down. To hold it down there. Do it on this side. Just like that. Oh, I see I need one at the top too. And like I said, what's nice about the glue gun is it dries pretty quick. Just like that. So there we go. There is the penguin's belly. Okay. 
Now we are going to do his head. Now I think my head is too big. Yes, it is. His face is way too big. So I'm going to cut it. That's where my scissors come in. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Hopefully I don't make it too small. <laughs> well, luckily I got another piece of white there. Maybe just a little bit smaller. And maybe I will do kind of a flat edge since that's going down on his There we go. I think that's pretty good. Cover there. Okay, let's do this guy. Again, we're gonna be very careful using the glue gun. It's kind of hard to see because the glue is clear. And we're going to just put his face right there. There we go. And we'll fill in any little bits we feel are necessary. The other thing too is that I find that this uh, this felt that I got from the dollar store is pretty thick. So me putting my fingers, even though the glue is underneath it, it's warm, but it's not burning. Sometimes when the felt is very thin, you can feel the heat right through. There we go. All right, we've got that. Perfect. Okay, next thing we're going to do is put on his little beak and eyes. So the beak, I just cut a little piece of orange and then I'm just going to cut a triangle. Or beak, now it's probably too big. It's a little too big. So I'm just gonna cut the top off a little bit. And this is something we each create our own unique piece of art, right? So this is something you kind of have to play with. Oh, I think that's pretty good. So this one is very, uh, not dangerous, but it's very, because it's small. So just please be very careful. There we go. Be very careful with the glue gun. And again, if you don't have a glue gun, that's okay. You can use regular glue. It just may take it a little longer for your penguin for the pieces to dry. That's all. You can always pause this video. And then, um, there he is. Um, and then, you know, start it back up again when that piece is dried. I'll still be here. Okay, next we have our eyes. Like I said, you can choose any color eyes you want. You can choose different sizes. You can choose different shapes, whatever. If you don't have buttons, then um, pom-poms work, or even you could cut up little shapes from the, the felt. I mean, you get a huge stack if you go to the dollar store one, right, with all different colors, so you can do that too. But sometimes people have buttons kicking around from if they bought a new pair of pants and they had buttons attached or a sweater. Again, you gotta be really careful because this is a small. I'm just gonna put his eye right there. So to the right to the corner of his one nose. Remember part of his nose right there. And then I noticed I have two different kinds of buttons. The other thing you can do is put it a little dollop of glue right there. Just 
sometimes, especially with glue, glue gums, you get these little wispy hang-on strings. And when you press it down, be careful because the glue could become, could come between the, the buttons. Oh, see, he's a little wonky because his eyes are a little. <laughs> oh, see, I got a little bit of glue, but luckily it was dried by then. But see, you get these little pieces that just kind of, you just break them off. There we go. There's our basic penguin. He looks so cute. Okay. All right, next we are going to put on his scarf. I just have to try to figure out where my thing is. Here it is. So again, I said you can use um, a piece of sheet, an old um, t-shirt, um, the felt, whatever works, okay? If I were gonna use the felt, there's the piece of, the only thing about the felt is it's not, this particular piece isn't big enough to wrap around his neck. So you might need to get bigger felt than this. And there are, they do have bigger pieces at the dollar store. So I like to do, there he is. Tie his, uh, his scarf on. And I just tie it once. That's all you need. Right, and then maybe I'll cut a little couple pieces off here because they're really long. Should we have a little jaunty scarf that one end is longer than the other? <laughs> there we go. There he is. Get a little bit tighter. There we go. Look at that. He looks so cute. He's all ready for winter that's coming. First, we have to get through Halloween. No snow before Halloween. Okay. There we go. Okay. So next, we have his hat. And that is it. All right. Hat. Okay. So I have a um, kid sock but you can use a regular sock if you'd like. Um, I actually kept the edge of the sock on because it actually um, held on to his head easier. We will glue it down a little bit, but um, I just found that that worked best. The one thing is um, what I like to do is, so it doesn't necessarily look like a sock, is I like to turn the sock inside out and I tie a knot in the top. So um, you just wrap it around your fingers and then pull it through the bottom. You don't have to do this. It's just something I like to do, just like that. So it's one of these knots. And then I pull it, place it tight. Okay, just like that. And then I put this and it kind of creates that type of a top so it looks a little bit more like a hat um, than the top of a sock. The other thing is too, right, I could add a pom-pom if I wanted to and I may do that since I have them. So what I like to do is take the edge here and I like to fold it up a little bit. So I folded it once folded it twice. Let's see, is that enough? And I just kind of put his hat on as best I can. <laughs> wow, he looks so cute. You should see his eyes. This is a little difficult to do backwards here, but that's okay. There he is. Oh, he looks super cute. Now, actually, his hat's staying on pretty good, but I'm gonna glue it on in case anyways, because when I put away my winter decorations, I would hate to lose his little hat. It may pop off when I go to put that away. Okay, so there we go. So I just put a little bit of glue. I just kind of lift the one edge 
And again, you can do this with uh, your the glue that you're using. It just may take a little bit longer for it to dry. And I put it back down and put it on this side. Put it down, pat it down, and then I do it on the back. Ooh, see, I just got myself there. Be careful. There we go. There he is. And I'm going to add a little pom-pom because it will match with his lovely um, scarf. <laughs> and there we go, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had a great time. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to message or to put a comment and we will get back to you as soon as we can, all right? There you go, enjoy. And I hope that you have a wonderful winter season and be safe and take care and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.